I was watching a video on a Georgia police chief and he got pulled over by officers in a nearby town, like a neighboring town. And I mean, the guy flipped out, who was the Georgia uh, police chief. This is the person who got pulled over. You see him get out of his car, walk very aggressively to the officers. There was um, a male officer and a female officer yelling at them, you know, was very, very aggressive. And I'm just thinking to myself, right, if any person, right, like a civilian did something like that, could you imagine like that, say, we got pulled over, any one of us, me, you, anyone, right, and we got out of our car, walked aggressively towards a police officer, screaming and yelling, plus like, you know, he he had his hands by his waist, obviously he was carrying a weapon, I don't want to get too technical, I'm not making any, listen, I'm not making any type of allegations here. I'm just simply saying, if it was one of us who did that, most likely we would have got shot, potentially, you know, hurt, killed, because the officer would have feared for their lives. The officer would have probably said, don't move any any further. We could have got tased. So why is it okay for this Georgia police chief to do it? And it's not okay for any one of us to do it. This is just the way I feel. This is my First Amendment right as a United States citizen. No one is above the law, period. No one. I don't care if you work in law enforcement. I don't care if you're the president of the United States. No one is above the law. And it pisses me off that these people who work in law enforcement seem to get special treatment because apparently this Georgia police chief could just get out of his car, walk aggressively to officers with his hand by his waist where he's holding a weapon, start screaming and yelling, cursing, you know, he was, it was because there were certain parts that they were like, you know, bleeping it out. He's, you know, he's like, you know, even the, the, the female officer was just like, sir, we're just doing our job. Why are you coming, you know, at me like this so aggressively? Why are you screaming? I'm not raising my voice at you. You know why he's doing it? Because he can. Because he, and then he's on the, the phone with their police chief, probably trying to get them in trouble. For, and, and they're just doing their job. They're doing their job. They pulled him over, rightfully so. You know, they were running his plate, and that's another thing. They were saying it was coming back as a Dodge Ram. It looked like he was in a Chrysler or something like that, whatever the case would be. The guy was flipping out. You ran it wrong, or someone else ran it wrong. Look, the only person that was in the wrong, in my opinion, was you, the Georgia police chief. It was an embarrassment to law enforcement, in my opinion, because is that the way you want the public to, you know, you know, because you're you don't realize something. You're you're like a role model. You're giving everyone all around the country and all around the world. But let's just let's just stick with America for now. You know, your view on how to treat police officers. And it wasn't with respect. (laughs) It wasn't with respect. Okay, and if we follow in your footsteps, I think civilians could, like I said, could possibly get shot because the law enforcement officer could potentially fear for their life. Imagine someone's getting out of a car during, during an officer pulling someone over, walking towards them very quickly, very aggressively, very rapidly with their hands on their waist. Probably get shot, they get right, probably get tased. But the Georgia police chief does it, and it seems to be okay. We're not treated equal in this country, and it really, really pisses me off.